In the previous episode, we see Nick Fury coming from space to stop a secret invasion caused by an alien race named Skrulls. He ends up losing one of his comrades, when trying to stop an explosion. The scene takes us to 1995, when Fury met the first Skrull who turned out to be his leader. That was when Fury comes to find out that the Skrull race have lost their planet and are looking for one. Two years later, Vera, a Skrull, brings a boy named Gravik to Fury. Fury promises the Skrulls a better planet whilst they help him save his world from danger, both internal and external. The scene takes us to the present. We see Fury, sitting by Hill's corpse. Talos in disguise as a Russian, takes Fury away. One of Gravik's men lets himself be captured and tells the police that he is an American. We see a female Russian being questioned by the soldiers. They ask her about Fury and she answers no whiles flirting with them. They leave and she turns out to be Talos. Talos calls Fury and he comes out. Fury asks Talos whether there is some information he doesn't know of. Talos denies this claim as Fury gets angry hearing them. Talos comes clean saying that, his race was getting slaughtered by other planet people so he called them to come and settle on Earth. Fury asks Talos of the number of Skrulls on Earth and he says that, there are thousands of them on Earth. Fury gets angry and asks Talos to leave the train. Fury is seen at Hill's funeral. He meets her mother and he tells her the truth. She tells Fury that he shouldn't let her death be in vain. We see Ja driving Gravik. They get to a place which turns out to be the meeting place of the elders of the Skrulls. We see that the UK Prime Minister, the head of NATO and other world leaders are all Skrulls. They talk about the bombings at Moscow and how Gravik is to be punished. Gravik on the other hand, lets them know that Nick Fury betrayed them by not finding a home for them. A female amongst them says that she supports Gravik and the head of NATO says that he is against it. This causes a problem as he is pinned down by the guard. They all decide to give him full authority and command of the future of Skrulls. One lady with them says that she doesn't support war and leaves. She calls Talos and tells him this. Talos asks her to set up a meeting between her Gravik and himself. Gravik gets to his hideout and all his comrades clap for him. Just sees Brogan going into a room. She follows him and see that there are scientists creating something for Gravik. We see Rhodey, representing the President of the United States about the bombing. The other countries say that Fury and Heal, who are Americans, were seen at the site of the bombing. Rhodey says that they are talking based on assumptions and asks them to bring him real proof. He leaves and Fury calls him. Rhodey tells him a place that they should meet and Fury comes there. Fury explains the situation to Rhodey and Rhodey also explains the political aspect to Fury. He says that, because of the sighting of Fury and Hill in Moscow, American might lose its allies in the process. He further accuses Fury of causing the death of one of their best agents, which is Hill. Rhodey strips Fury of his position and asks him to follow the guard to the airport. Fury refuses whilst twisting the guard's arm. Sonia goes to a place and see one of Gravik's men. She asks the men inside to leave. She injects him with a liquid that freezes human blood. He starts to say that Gravik is creating something that will make Skrulls stronger. Gravik sees Ja looking through the computer. He asks her to accompany him to save one of their comrades. We see Brogan, Beto, Gravik, and Ja in the car. Gravik and Brogan go in whilst the rest waits. They shoot a guy through the glass and move in. They release tear gas inside as we see the Russians getting ready. Brogan fights with a guy using hand-to-hand -hand combat. He disarms the guy and shoots him. Gravik on the other hand, kills a guy using a knife. Sonia hears the commotion outside and escapes using the emergency exit. Brogan and Gravik get inside the room using an explosive device. They save their comrade and Gravik asks him what he told them. He says that he told them lies and they leave. They get to a forest area. Gravik gives a gun to Brogan and Brogan takes their comrade into the forest. Brogan shoots his comrade as we see the gunshot in the forest. 
Brogan comes back and gives the gun to Gravik. Fury is seen unveiling a car. He drives it and gets to an apartment. We see a Skrull living and cooking in the apartment. Fury gets inside and the Skrull turns into human. She gives Fury a straight face as Fury leaves to go get his ring. We see that the female is named Vera. We also realize that Fury married a Skrull. They both ease up as they kiss each other. Click the link in the description to watch the next episode of this movie.